We have already covered modern era amphibious planes that serve within the personal aviation segment. But now, the time has come to review larger flying boats and passenger planes with floats. Unlike their smaller siblings, these aircrafts not only entertain the rich, but also provide invaluable transportation and rescue services within the most inaccessible regions of our planet. Today we take you to the skies once again, so buckle up your seatbelts, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and enjoy your flight! Dornier Seastar CD2 The history of this amphibious turboprop goes back to 1984, when it was developed by the German engineer Claudius Dornier Jr. In early 90s, the company ran into financial troubles, so its production efforts were rather scattered from then on. Today Dornier is a joint venture with two Chinese companies that invested over 150 million euros into the development of the new generation improved Seastar. The CD2 has a flying boat construction with saltwater-resistant aluminum airframe, a V-keel-shaped composite fuselage, and two overwing-mounted Pratt & Whitney engines. The aircraft is capable of 180 knots of cruising speed, though its wings design enables it to maintain stall speeds of just 65 knots. Of course, the Sea Star can take off and land both on land and water, even in rough conditions and two feet high waves. Turbo Beaver The original DHC-2 Beaver was manufactured by de Havilland Canada between 1947 and 1967, with a total of 1,657 units produced. In 1987, a fellow Canadian company, Viking Air, became an exclusive spare parts manufacturer and servicer for the aircraft, and later they started remanufacturing the existing Beavers with Pratt & Whitney turboprop engines. Currently, the company offers several upgrades for the model. There is a Viking Air high cross kit that increases its max takeoff weight to 6,000 pounds. There are two cabin extensions for 8 and 10 passengers. And of course, the most recent and most important engine propeller update that allows the PT6A34 engine with 680 HP and Hartzell 3 blade propeller to be installed on the model. The Beaver also gets a custom interior, Garmin avionics and audio, plus a set of Whipline 6100 Amphib floats. Airfish 8 Once viewed as the future of efficient and affordable transatlantic transportation or even undetectable missile carriers, the ground-effect aircraft failed to attract sufficient R&D funds and were gradually pushed out from the engineer's focus. However, the Singapore-based widget works are attempting to resurrect the concept and hopefully commercialize it with a high-speed ferry with 6 to 8 passengers and 2 crew. The Airfish 8 is a continuation of the reverse delta wing design by the German aviation pioneer Dr. Alexander Martin Lippisch. His genius solved the major problem of harnessing the ground effect and allowed to operate the vehicle at the height equal to the 50% of the wingspan length, hands handle rough or seas. This vessel is powered by a 500 horsepower 7 liter V8 engine that operates using regular 95 octane gasoline. It can reach speeds up to 106 knots with a travel range of 300 nautical miles. Allison Mahan Guiduck Developed as a successor to the iconic Grumman G44 Wedgian model, the Guiduck by Ben Allison and Brian Mahan originated in Seattle, Washington in 1990. It takes the successful concept of 1940s and recreates it in modern corrosion-free composite materials and improves it with modern aviation know-how. The glass and carbon structure is significantly lighter, plus the new Lycoming IO 546-cylinder horizontally opposed engines with 300 HP each provide the aircraft with significantly improved capabilities. The 4 Plus 2-seater has 1000 nautical miles range at economical cruise speed of 120 knots, but it could be extended to 2200 with an optional fuel tank. The Guiduck flew for the first time in 2009, and its prototype was registered with the US Federal Aviation Administration by 2017. This flying boat is currently licensed by Composite Creations of Prinville, Oregon, 
and it will be brought to the market as a kit. Do not think twice about smashing the like button. This way you are actively helping our channel grow. Thank you for your support and let's get back to it. Viking Twin Otter The first generation of this plane took to the skies back in 1960s under the de Havilland Canada manufacturer and it was later produced in several modifications throughout 1980s. The modern era of the Twin Otter began in 2008 when it was brought back to life by Viking Air. The aircraft grew in length, weight and payload capability, but it did not lose its range and ability to operate from remote and unimproved airfields. The model introduced new generation Pratt & Whitney engines with 750 shaft HP. It got modernized electrical system, LED lighting and Honeywell premise Apex Digital Avionics. In early 2020, the company demonstrated the Guardian 400 version of the model that was developed for special missions and military support operations. It has extended range, can be equipped with wheels, floats, skis or flotation gear and comes with the latest surveillance tech such as Osprey radar, multi-spectral HDTV cameras, VIDAR and thermal imaging. Singular Aircraft SA-03 It turns out that drone planes are being rapidly embraced not only by the military. As demonstrated by the Barcelona-based Flag Swan, their unique capabilities are paving the way for the future use in agricultural, firefighting, transportation and life-saving missions. Also known as the Skywalker, in 2015 the SA-03 snatched the title of the world's first unmanned aerial vehicle flying boat. It has 46 feet high wing twin engine design with five bladed propellers. By utilizing car engines, the operation of the aircraft should be more economical and fuel efficient. So the range of 670 nautical miles or even 3000 with ferry tanks becomes a reality. The major task of the Flag Swan would be coping with forest fires and hostile flying conditions which are unsafe for manned planes. So it can scoop 475 gallons or 1800 liters of water in just one run. Kodiak 100 The 2019 acquisition of the American Quest aircraft made the French Dyer the seventh largest producer of business aviation planes in the world. Most importantly, the company seized control over the Quest's most iconic product, the Kodiak 1, which has recently got an upgraded version named the Series 2. The Kodiak 100 is a legitimate people's hauler capable of seating 10. The single-engine turboprop is famous for the versatility, low cost of ownership and minimal requirements for takeoff and landing sites. Even fully loaded, it needs under 950 feet of takeoff run to start the climb at the rate of 1,371 feet per minute. The Series 2 also received a faster Garmin G1000 avionics and can be optioned with the GWX-70 weather radar, single-point refueling, and as for its amphibious nature, it is insured by the Aerosat carbon fiber floats. Cessna Caravan and Grand Caravan EX The members of the Caravan family are longtime workhorses of the industry that have been produced since 1982. The 2600 plus units released so far have clocked over 20 million flight hours, demonstrating a rare combination of low operating costs, unparalleled dispatch reliability, high performance and adaptability. The standard caravan is powered by the Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A tractor turboprop with 675 horsepower, while the Caravan EX gets a 140 version of the same puller with 867 HP that improves the rate of climb by 38%. The Cessna has short 1200 through 1400 feet takeoff and landing distance and can adapt to any environment with a fixed tricycle landing gear, floats or skis. The aircraft is often used by commuter airlines, VAP transport and cargo missions with 10 to 14 occupants and useful loads of 3,305 or 3,532 pounds. The cabin is unpressurized and comes in three interior packages Canyon, Savannah and the luxury appointed Oasis. Privateer 
Designed by the Boeing engineer Bill Husa and marine engineer Robert Gornstein, this amphibian will once be sold both as an amateur construction kit and a type certified ready-to-fly aircraft. It has a low-wing design, a twin boom tail, and a fully enclosed cabin that can accommodate seven people, six passengers, and a pilot. Most of the privateer bodywork is made from carbon fiber composites, lowering the empty weight to under 3,500 pounds. The model gets a retractable tricycle landing gear and fixed floats, and comes powered by a single T Walter 601 turboprop and pusher configuration. The Sension produces 724 shaft horsepower during takeoff and is able to ensure max cruising speeds of 215 knots at 15,000 feet or 195 at sea level. As of 2020, the model has already completed a couple of flights, and it is being tested and perfected by the Florida-based privateer industries. Viking Canada Air CL215-515 through The story of the world-renowned water bomber began in 1966, when the first-generation CL215 went into service to fight fires across the entire globe. Its operational concept had proven much more effective than traditional air tankers, delivering the highest frequency of drops in the industry. The model was manufactured by Canada Air, then Bombardier, and now is produced and serviced by Viking Air. Through the years, the CL215 went through multiple improvement plans, and its latest generations are called CL415, CL415EAF, and CL415MP. Moreover, Viking is developing the all-new CL515 first responder version that will be 12 to 15% more efficient. It is powered by Pratt & Whitney Canada PW123AF with 2,380 HP of thrust each. It will be an ultimate firefighting machine capable of dropping 1,850 gallons of water at a time. Would you like to see the glorious return of gigantic flying boats? After all, the conceptual Saunders Row Princess aircraft were envisioned as the next generation flying cruise ships. Tell us what you think about the presented lineup and check out the video about the personal aviation boat planes. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, like this episode, and as always, may the torque be with you!